<laughs> All right, <laughs> someone had the idea of replacing the intro music. I just like the cog well, that you hear turning. Great. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, welcome to Our War well, World's Christmas episode. Yeah, well, I'm going to replace that music. <laughs> and everybody no. was anxiously awaiting our Christmas episode. I so, the Christmas oh, music. boy. It's been a busy five weeks since yeah, the last time we, we got it. We've been off the uh, the airways for five weeks. I know you guys are happy. You're like going, oh, <laughs> man. So, but uh, we're back, and uh, last show of the year. Last show of the year. What have we been doing for five weeks? A lot. We've had a lot of stuff go on. We had the party. Those of you who joined us for Facebook Live and heard <laughs> half of it, great. Hey, <laughs> that yeah. was a good time, though, and I'm looking forward to doing the next one. We're going to try different uh, people. Different, different, <laughs> different <laughs> more simple avenues to make sure the face, Facebook Live. It's probably not going to sound fantastic but it's going to sound better than the last one did so this whole damn um, time yeah we sp- <laughs> I, I, i'm just gonna let everyone know we spent the last hour oh, here we go and mark decided now he has to leave <laughs> no we are by our fire pit freezing our butts off because mark has to grab wood every 10 minutes so we are sitting here watching him attempt to get this fire to work. See, if he, he didn't have headphones on, we would have gotten a comment out of Mark. Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, I don't uh, grab what I get what. All right, so <laughs> what did we do in the last five weeks? Dad? Well, Kayla had her very first NFL football game. Yeah. yeah. Curse you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Oh, I no. know. That was so nasty of you. <laughs> it was fun. We had a good time. He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. No, that was definitely an experience. I had never been. I've always wanted to go, but then again, like I don't know what's happening half of the time. So I was just there for the whatever experience. Yeah, but you were you were. If you asked a question, we you know, and again, I don't think you expected all the testosterone. I mean, it was a well, yeah. There's a no, lot. It was one of those the whole like you have to stand up every third down, which it's like the Cardinals. We do that every two seconds. And pretty much. So I didn't know we were doing Catholic aerobics, and I said no. <laughs> So, so I she, she did just sit there half the time. We were trying. We were like, what is it going to take to get Carla to stand up? And it Hi, didn't my happen. Name is Kayla. And it hasn't Kayla, damn it. I, God damn years. it. I freaking. Well, thank you. I say your mom's name all thank the time. Thank you. <laughs> uh, why are you saying my wife's name all the time? Oh, shut <laughs> up. Yikes. Shut up. So, no, that was a fun experience because we went out and did the tailgate and stuff like that. It was just surprisingly, like, kind of warm. So I was just dying because it was. Get Pretty used hard. to that. I mean, try tailgating in September, but that's a whole other yeah. when we get into football season again when it rolls around. But yeah, but did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. I mean, like I said, I don't know what was happening half of the time. And when I did, I was just asking Mark or someone else around us, like, yo, what's even happening? So, and then we lost. So it, Yeah, and then Mark was getting really pissed off because we were losing. Well, and we were winning the whole game, and then we freaking lose with three seconds to go. I'm like, okay, this sucks. That's the Cardinals for Yeah, they just suck. Mark, so. all his life, though, being around Mark when his team loses is not pleasant. Even even as kids, he just, he'd just he get all pissy and mad. Well, I'm that same way. Even I was on, competitive. Even on Sundays, when we watch the football game at home, I'm just like, cool, now I'm pissed off for no reason. Why did I <laughs> yeah, sit here and watch I this? It. You know, and if they play in the morning and then they lose, I'm pissed all afternoon or whatever. <laughs> I'm just, like, this sucks. I just come to expect it, and, you know, and yeah, I'm a little disappointed, but move on because, you know. If only we just put the worst thing your sports, the worst thing your sports teams can give you is hope. It's the truth. God honest <laughs> truth. It's freaking hope. Because they give it to wow. you and then you're like, they just take it away. It's just, yeah, it's worse than a marriage. That needs to go on a meme or something. So it is. <laughs> Put it on a shirt. The first thing that you're, the worst thing your sports team can give you is hope. Because if you're just miserable, you're okay. Wow. So, yeah, I'm telling you, it's freaking the truth. Once they give you a reason to start having fun or whatever, it sucks. What else? We had a, the Christmas party. The Christmas oh, party. we did. It got, I went, and anyone that did watch the the live show, the eight of you, and listen, if it had sound, I think it would. Everybody here had a blast. So, if you I guys don't so. recall, our party was back in November, and uh, it was a big hit. We probably had, I think, at its height, about seventy people here. So, probably at its height, somewhere around there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was really fun. We had a great time. The Christmas decorations are alive and well. We're having a ton of kids up and at them but the party itself was a very good time i mean uh yeah. hopefully i had a very good time even though i got <laughs> so drunk 
that I almost died. Again, that cleaning bill has not been taken care of. So you, that you, you forgot the $86 bill on your way out. I so. got a little drunk. Mark oh, uh, challenged me at the start and said, we have to get drunk together. We've never been we drunk hadn't. together. So I, I'm running around because Shannon had her... We still Oliver's... have them, by the way. There's still about 30 of them in there. What, if your mom wants sh- any. Oh. Break those up. Do you want them? All right. And go I get met them. other <laughs> Shannon the, with her cart. Mark's friend Shannon has like a beer alcohol Oh, the cart. mobile bar. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the mobile, mobile bar. bar thing, yeah. so. Oliver Twist. or uh, I think it, yeah, yeah, I think it's Oliver Shout Twist. Out Shannon. And she, she? Absolutely. <laughs> she deserves it, man. That was great. And uh, she enjoyed it. That was the first time she brought that out. The first because it just got finished, so we were kind of like the test model, and everybody loved it. I mean, yeah, I think yeah. it went. It, it, it was it was great. It, I mean, it was, it was so great. much better than just having her set up in the garage. We were there other times where she it was just. Oh, just, that she. So how many years has she been? The every she last six or seven. Six she's seven been bartending years, yeah. for okay. ours. Yeah, since since we've been here and we've been having them, and you know it's been great because she just not just started out, but she just started working part time for me. You know, bartending, and we just started. You know growing with each other and i'm happy that she's doing her own thing now it's fantastic i'm, I'm so happy for her so if you guys ever need any of your bar needs uh, oliver twist yeah no it was super cool because then you just go and tell her i mean by the end she knew what exactly what you wanted and that was my downfall because she <laughs> would just look at me and she's like here you go sweetie i'm like fuck <laughs> We do. So, so while we're on the air, call your mom and tell her to bring some of those out that they're in the freezer. I'll call her later. No, we're right here. It. Yeah, you do. Well, and then other Shannon made her pudding shots, and those things were those are oh, great. God, yeah, I was. Ugh. Those are the best. It's been yeah. a it's been a fun kickoff to the holiday season. Now we are coming up to we're doing um, Santa Claus next Friday over here is what we're doing. So we're hoping if you have little ones, bring them on over. You know how to get a hold of me. I'm not going to give you my address and phone number. <laughs> on oh the come air. on, five if you're five in, five. Like Switzerland or something. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, so, but I'll if you do know Facebook. me, look me up be on Facebook or whatever. I'll give you the details. You can bring the little ones, and we have Santa on uh, the 16th from six thirty to nine. So. Yeah, just even if you just leave something on on our Facebook page, someone will get back to you with it. Or if you know Mark, text him or whatever. Yeah, so it'll be fun. So that's the and that's that's new for us. This will be our first year of actually hosting something for the for the community. We've never done that before, so we don't know how well it's going to go over. Or... If well, we'll talk about that later because we could have made that really huge. But anyway, um... <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, I wanted to ask you, how was um, Trans-Siberia? Oh, Orchestra? my gosh. It was awesome. I mean, so I didn't expect much going in there. You know, I, I like them. I love their music, but I really wasn't sure how it was all going to work and everything else. But their light shows, their storytelling, their their musicians, they what? were, you know, they were very good. It was okay. very, very okay. good. Okay, I mean, you see the videos, light shows and everything, but what do you mean by storytelling? Tell, tell me about So it, it's... They're telling a story. So what they do is they bring out a narrator, and then they have something in the back. It's about a runaway girl that I don't want to spoil it for people, but anyway, it's about a runaway girl, and if she's dreaming or she's not dreaming, and they match the music to what's going on in the story. Then the narrator will come out every song or so and be like, "On then, you know, it fantasy." Oh, no. so, so it's like a story. Yeah, it's a they... story for like so the it's first. Not just a concert. It's so a... it's like so it was like twenty minutes of them just going to town. Then it was like an hour worth of them in this story. So you you kept track of the story, and then they'd play a song on top of it, and everything would be cool. Mm. Some of their original stuff, and then some, you know, Christmas stuff. And then um, the last, like, 45 minutes was just their their hits and everybody having fun and doing different things. But it definitely kept you... I mean, they played for two and a half hours, and I mean, it was it. it was, I thought they were done three different times. I really did. And then they'd come back out, and the narrator would continue the story, and you'd see. You know, it was pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, I, it was well worth it. It was a lot of, and we like was packed. It was packed. We thought the three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, heck no, man! There were so <laughs> and there were a lot. So me and Holly were a little wondering. Weird, so there's a lot of these older couples going, and I'm talking in their 70s, in their 80s, mm-hmm. whatever. And I'm wondering, how are they going to... So we kept on looking for people that were walking out, but no, it was the, everybody kept, you know, it was kind of cool. So, yeah, we really enjoyed well, it. It was a lot of fun. They've been going to that shit since it, like, first started, if they're that yeah, old. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty cool. I, I guess it's their 32nd year. Yeah, so they've been around a while now. Is this something you would consider doing every year, or is that a one-time thing? Or? <sighs> well, I don't know about every year. Well, I mean, I, I would. I mean, I'm glad I saw them, and they're off my bucket list and everything else. And they were they were really cool. And they were worth the money, which I can't say about a lot of uh, um, uh, concerts. But we had a really good time. At- so not gonna so. be not gonna be one of your traditions, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I spent a lot of money, and it yeah. was a little little different. So, I mean, my wife is those... delivering Lay's potato chips. Holly's actually been home the last few times. She has. So she's actually. Holly. It's okay. Like, so. she, she's here. So. 
Peanuts. Oh. Peanuts. I was looking for pudding. <laughs> P- P- oh, pudding, pudding shots. Can <laughs> yeah, no, they're in the th- in the thing. Can you grab us some on? Oh, all right. Of course she is. I'll take the chips in. Try not to uh, chomp in the mic. So yeah, that it was it was fun. It was great, and you know, uh, uh, but that's it. I don't know if it'll be a tradition. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to work that. So. It was, a, it was an expensive like tradition if it's a that's tradition. That's something you would have to do like every few years or something because it's like unless they change it every time that they come here. Which I don't really think you can. I mean, they could, they've had they had original songs that were, you know, they were good. They weren't bad at all. And they, they fit the narration of the, of the you know, but I don't know. It, it'd be a lot to, unless they changed it. You're right. Unless they come out and say, no, all new show, you know, mm. all new. Then okay. But I don't know. But I recommend it. If you have not seen him, go, to see, go see him. For sure. Well, the only reason I asked was when um, when Kayla said, you know, those people have been going every year or something like that. So I was just wondering, it is, is it a tradition thing that people do every year? I think so, because we were hearing people come in saying this is our sixth year in a row. And then there was a real cool, this little boy uh, was with his grandma, and uh, he was dressed up in a suit. He had a tie and everything. He couldn't have been more than six or seven years old. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was his... Uh, it was his grandmother and him first time, and they're like, "This is going to be our new, you know, grandma grandson tradition, and just me and him." And I mean, they were really fun to talk to, really cool people, and I mean, just everybody's there just for Christmassy, and they're all, in, you know, their sweaters and stuff like that. It's not like a rock concert where you're lighting up doobies, and yeah, you, know, you didn't see the <laughs> joint passed around at a Trans Siberian. <laughs> it would have been unique if it was though. If I saw Grandma fucking going it down, to be like, Grandma, <laughs> this, this is a Woodstock. And then she's like, "Look at the lights, man!" Mm-hmm. Grandma's like, "Yeah." God. That'd be fucking cool, but you guys should do it once. So, but yeah, yeah, we'll get to it eventually. We just have so much that we're planning and doing and all that gobbledygook. Do we? Do we want to talk? About, Kayla's birthday is the day after Christmas. Yes, yep. it is. Yeah, my birthday is the day after Christmas. So when I was younger, it wasn't that bad. But then again, it, your mom made a conscious effort to make sure you had a birthday and not no, and they get still, joined in. They so. still do. You know, it, it's just hard, especially getting older, because now everyone. Joints I gifts. mean, even then, yeah, but even then it was back when I was younger, everyone was always out of town, so we never really did have parties, so it was always just the cousins kind of hanging out. You want a birthday party? I'll throw you a birthday party. We'll Next a year, we'll I am throwing a prom for my 30th I like birthday. it. We talked about that. I'll so, help you plan it. We can get it all set. 360-something days or 300-something days to figure that out. 29. But for this birthday, we're going to go up to William's. And do that, like, Grand Canyon Rail. Oh, cool. Rail That'd be thing. fun, yeah. I've never done it, so I'd like to do it. So it'd be fun. Who, is... Remember the trip we went to the Grand Canyon on that bus? Who was that dude? <laughs> <laughs> and how did our parents just let us go with them overnight or whatever it was? Well, we're, let's talk about Caleb. Okay. No, I want to know the story. What no, the story? this was, um. you've heard the name Don Miner. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's... um. I'll call him my uncle, mom's friends, ex-husband actually, but you know, they divorced, but my parents stayed friends with both. Um, he drove a bus up to the Grand Canyon. Oh. So somehow one weekend Mark and I got put on this bus to the Grand Canyon. It's not I, my parents didn't know who this guy was. Hell yeah, go to Grand Canyon with this so guy. Sure, go ahead. We're sixth grade, seventh grade. Mm. We're not we're not even adults or anything. And uh we got to the Grand Canyon, Don said, Okay. This, this, and this, and then we didn't see Don till the next morning. Yeah, <laughs> it really was the truth. Yeah. So was, what the hell did you guys do? We, like, just, we had a hotel room or whatever we, we had. Went, no, we went to the movies. That's where we saw the uh, Star Trek II Wrath of Khan. Oh, we did go to the movies. Every well, time what, I see that movie, I think of the Grand Canyon with you. I mean, it's not like we're picking up chicks or anything. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no. In sixth grade. We didn't go to yeah. the bar. I no. know, but and I was, need a milk, ice cold, we went to the on the rocks, rocks, and then went back to the uh, back to the room. I mean, there wasn't they had a movie. And what, that's where that's where he was waiting. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, I'm, no. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but half the fun of that trip is, is the bus ride up there and back. And you you should do it for your birthday. Do the VIP cart and get you know wine and enjoy I it. I wanted to, but because we're taking one of my nephews, they don't allow ki- chil- or children under fifteen. Oh, okay. So and because of the time frame of everything, what day are you going? We're going on my birthday. Oh, my, on the t- Monday. Yeah. Monday, okay. So we're going to leave Christmas night, and we're going to just stay in a hotel in Williams, and then we're going to do that Monday morning, and then come back Tuesday afternoon. They ought to turn that into, like, the Polar Express during Christmas. They do. do. Is that what they do? I yeah. didn't know if they did or Wait, not. So but... we're staying there Monday night also? Yes. I did not know that. Yeah. I thought we were driving home Monday And you wanted to go to the Monday night football game. 
That would have never worked. No, I have no desire to go to the Whatever. Monday night football game. Well, that'll be do. fun. That's no, exciting. Wait, the, their Cardinals Monday night game is tomorrow night or Monday, this Monday. Monday. Oh, yeah. You're two weeks from the end. Yeah. No, um, I'm excited about it. I wanted to do it last year because I found it very like last second. And then, of course, because everyone always has that Monday off because it's you know Christmas reserve right. or whatever the mm-hmm. hell. So this year I was like, no, let's get this done. Let's book the tickets. Let's do all this kind of stuff. So is it a day trip? Yeah, it's like you get on the train. I think at like eight eight thirty or something like that, and then you're in at the Grand Canyon for like an hour or two or something, and then you get back on the train and I mean, you're it's back a hole by like two thirty. I mean, the Grand Canyon is cool, but an hour or two of the Grand Canyon, unless you're doing a hike and unless you're doing all that kind of well, stuff. I I've been to the canyon once during the winter, so I think the the if it's snowing that. Uh, yeah, I'm, it'll I'm be totally between, Christmassy. It'll be cool on that. I'm torn between scared to death of driving in the snow and I hope it's snowing because it'll look really cool. It will look really cool. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for is that it's actually going to snow or something like that. Not so, a snowstorm that's going to cause us to stay there or something like that. But no, I'm really excited to do it. I bet you'd be fun. So because I've always wanted to do that Polar Express one too. Yeah, that's that cute. That sells yeah. out super quick. Oh yeah, that's that's. And you have to like get on that real fast. Well, kids love got, trains. I think man. that's got like a two year waiting list. Something like that. I wouldn't doubt it. I, it's a cool little thing. I the, I still watch that stupid movie freaking when it's on. <laughs> I mean, AMC all they are running is Four Christmases, Christmas at the Cranks, Elf, Christmas Vacation, and uh, White Christmas with Bing. That's all they're. That's all that's on every night. So. I have not seen, I have not seen the Polar Express yet this year. I saw Christmas Vacation a couple times. I won't see Christmas Story till Christmas Eve. I know they had it on the other night, and I couldn't do it. I was like, I can't watch this till Christmas did Eve for see, some did reason. Did you watch a new one? No, I don't. I don't think I have HBO Max. If I have HBO, does that mean I have HBO Max? No. I don't think so. I think it's a separate thing. Why do I think I signed up for HBO Max? I don't know. I we they started watching it and then I was like oh no I want to watch it with you guys so then they waited until I got home and then I passed out because I was so tired but it was also just really sad you know and so I was like I don't want to finish this movie Which I don't one? think it's gonna get any better the, the, the new, new one. one the new Aww. one the new one is just as good as the first one so it's not that like, you're you're not the only one that have said that yeah so you're, you're not actually... gonna you're not gonna side splitting laughter or anything like that it's just a it's nice, cute it's yeah it's a nice cute movie just a nice it will it be movie. a christmas do you think it'll take off if they show it i think so i think say be- tbs grabs it and says it's gonna put it in the rotation um i don't know for play as, if you play it nonstop for a month every day almost i mean yeah like, I, I don't know i don't know as far as the the business arrangement with tbs hey our HBO groupies here like everybody good to see you i don't think that it would be a constant loop kind of story no i think I they'd show it once or twice yeah until it catches on no not even that i from what i saw it's way too sad and it's way too slow for someone well to, it starts out slow but it gets it gets better uh, well. Bless their hearts. Yeah, damn yeah. millennials much, with their attention like span show. of a fly. <laughs> much like this show. Much yeah. like- <laughs> I mean, we haven't recorded in five weeks. Our energy I know. is Our, just gone. It is, what the heck's going on over yeah, there? Sure. And we're even on a time limit here, so aren't we? Or whatever. Well, we well, so, got two hours till the batteries run out. Well, that was 25 <laughs> minutes ago, wasn't it, or whatever? No, we're only 18 minutes in. <laughs> we're oh, only that, five dear minutes Dear God. <laughs> We've already talked about everything already. 18 minutes. Thanks for listening. We'll come back next year. Good night. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody. Buddy, we appreciate you coming out. But, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I think, uh, interesting stuff next year. I'm looking forward to 23. Have 20... you got all your Christmas shopping done? Well, for our family that we are, um, we're almost done. So uh, we went today, and me and Holly went. We got a, another few, couple jo- donations, so everybody's donating. Th- Where are you going with those? Uh, but So, anyways, we got a couple other more donations that came in this week. So it allowed oh. us to go back out and kind of get what we want. <laughs> and these kids, it's cool, you know, and you know, it's, it's not like you can just spend a hundred bucks on them or whatever, because dude, things are expensive. Thank yeah. you. So, I mean, I cannot believe how much some of these toys are that you're like, oh my gosh, but I love it. It's, it's going to be freaking cool. And we love doing this and we can't wait till we get the video and we can't, you know, that's, that, that's when they, that's kind of what the pre, our prerequisite is we want you to, uh, a lot of pictures and a lot of videos so we yeah. can post it back on the webpage for everybody that donated. So, Yeah. No, and I was looking at the Amazon list, too, and I was just like, oh, my gosh, some of this stuff is crazy. And we weren't even putting expensive stuff on there. Yeah. You could tell they weren't expensive things. Yeah, and, I mean, price doesn't necessarily or shouldn't matter. You know, it's the happiness and the joy of 
having or giving someone that might not be able to yeah, have so, that. Yeah, and we are. But, but it's also just like, holy damn. And I'm like, sure it's sticker stock for everybody. And then if, if I'm asking people to donate, they have their own families. They gotta, I mean, I get it. So I, so everybody that did or didn't, yeah, there's no grudges. I mean, no yeah. great. We're, we're doing what we can for this family, and I think it's more than what they expected. So Yeah, definitely. And that, that's uh, fr- friendshelpingfamily.net? FamilyHelpingFamily.net. FamilyHelpingFamily.net. Yes. Go ahead and check that out, guys. And if you can, great. If not, yeah. We yeah. listen. We're, it's fantastic. They're almost done. We're almost there. Probably another donation or two put us over the edge, and we'll be ready to go. But we still got another week and a half, two weeks in. I think I'm f- pretty confident. I and mean, people are reaching out to me and stuff like that, asking where they go. And so um, I'm excited. So it'll be it'll be fun. Do you and Holly buy gifts or anything for anyone, or just kind of meh? No, we do. I we I'm a big Christmas dude. So, I mean, this year I don't know. We, now it's too, when you start getting older, you kind of have everything. So if you yeah. want it, you just go buy it. So it's not like you can surprise anybody on Christmas Day unless it's you know I don't know a ring or something yeah. you know something like that. So, but no, me and me and Holly, we don't know how. I always say I'm not going to go crazy, and I end up buying her freaking all kinds of crap and stuff like that. Well, that's how it was with these two. I was like, okay, make your Christmas list, get it done, blah blah blah, and they're like. We don't need anything. This is such a surprise. Well, here's an alphabetical order starting with the kids around <laughs> <laughs> Christmas no, vacation. Just... Starting with Carla, your mom. <laughs> it was... Her list was damn like three things. And I'm like, okay. I started putting stuff on just to, you know, maybe I could use this or whatever. I just, you get to a point where, eh, what do I need? Please. Yeah. Mm. Turn your mic down here. I know. God. These are damn good. So we're still eating uh, oh. these uh, pudding shots from the uh, from the show and everything. Shout out the... to Shannon for your awesome pudding yes, shots. Yes, gift that keeps on giving. I refuse to touch those. <laughs> they were so good, but I can't do it again. They, th- they were good. All right. Well, um, geez, Christmas party. The list is gone. I don't know. That was <laughs> not the whole list. It was just our intro. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll All start right. talking about yeah, fun let's, stuff. Let's take a little break. We we'll just recap. A little bit. Play our, no, Santa. Oh, God. Yeah, play Santa here. We're not going to a break until we hear Santa. You ready? There you now. Thank you. Uh, come on back for more Santa. And no Starbucks waiting for coffee. <laughs> Their girl's best friend. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that one sounds worse than the other one. <laughs> yeah, he like probably said, needs batteries. He sounds like he's apologizing for Christmas. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We're back. Yeah, everybody. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Hey, be nice <laughs> to my Santa over there. He's probably just out of batteries. Honey, right. I need batteries. You know where they're at. Yeah, yes. <laughs> All right. So this week, now Mark's elaborate um, Christmas light display. Mark, it's better than those drive-through ones. <laughs> it is. It is. Mark's Mark's is awesome. But tell us the story of who who got called back up from the from the miners. from the miners. <laughs> so every year, let backstory is we buy something one or two things new and we phase out the older ones that i know only about have a year left and there it's time to phase them out and uh so this year's phase out because we got the sleigh and miss santa was our blow up mr potato head which has been a mainstay phase out mr potato in the and so and don't when i mean phase out they go from the front yard to the backyard they go to the blow up city over here is where they go <laughs> but so that's where so they, they, it's where Christmas decorations go to die, basically. I, the <laughs> island the, of misfit yeah, toys. I mean, right that's what it is. So, backyard. but there is only one now. There was as many as five, <laughs> but they popped in some other ones. It's it, it's where blow ups go to die. It's where what we call it. All right. So, anyways, um, I have an elaborate tree that I bought a pixel tree, which just was incredible in the front yard. That shorted out and took a dump after one Christmas, and I got basically nine usages out of this thing. And I was so pissed, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, it left a big void in the yard. So I, I was just, I was mad. I was looking online, looking for a tree, blah, blah, blah. You know, spend another God knows how much money. And uh, I was like, no, man, I'm just moving Miss Santa and I'm bringing 
Mr. Potato Head back from retirement, man. <laughs> and you know what? Mr. Potato Head is in better shape out there because I gave him a whole bunch of extra love and he's standing uh-huh. up where I don't have to touch. The kids are coming through. Mr. Potato, we hear hit the kids and I'm like, I might have made a mistake. I might have, like, it's kind of when you put your parents in a home too early, man. It's like, they, they, well, you could have got another five years out of your family. All of that loving from Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of, kind of like, when you get a new quarterback that's supposed to be all great and he ends up not being, so you have to call up a vet. It's it, shut up. It's really easy <laughs> to just. I mean, but I was like, I it was. I mean, maybe I cut mommy old fashioned or whatever. But I mean, you guys see out there, there's a mix, a lot of good mix and old. Uh, sure, it's, no, it's not tacky. It's 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 very you know it's it's thought process and. uh you know, I, I just did. I had a hard time actually. And then so Andy, my niece, comes and she's like, "Hey, my my friends will take uh, you know, Mr. Potato Head." Because another backstory is, I think I've already told you, one of our older Christmases in our some of our neighbor's front yard, we were getting ready to give it away, and they like don't give it away. So they have one around the corner. They just put a poncho head on him, and he's freaking. He looks awesome, and he lights up, and it's <laughs> awesome. So it's it's so I. So she was ready to give Mr. Potato Head away, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to give him away yet. He's got to go to a good home, you know. That's what I was like, you right, know. And I'm thinking right, about right. my blow up one time a year, but yeah, it's it's only once. Yeah, that's only what, one yeah. time a year. I'm married, if even that. <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> but so me and Jim started talking about old traditions, new traditions, and Jim has a conundrum that his family's it's, going through it's not and a i con- you know conundrum it's it's just trying to make it work and it, i think it's, it's mean old man <laughs> no cuz part of it honestly is because of me and it's me being a spoiled brat backstory In start go do it All back right. the story since uh honestly even before Kayla was born carl and i were together what two years before Kayla was born and we always went out looking at christmas lights as you all know Kayla was born day after christmas so she was out looking at christmas lights that year Every year we go out and look at Christmas lights. Well, started out with three of us. Then the nieces uh, came and moved in and everything. And so then it became the five of us. And then the other niece came in. Then there's six of us. Then one niece has a kid. And then there's seven of us. This thing grows and grows and grows every year. One year we rented a 12-passenger van or something. So we invited friends or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's just getting to the point this year. I'll tell you, I love doing Christmas light thing. I'll never stop. But the thing, half the fun, most of the fun, is the driving in the truck between Christmas lights, to be honest with you. Because it's listening to the Christmas music, it's dad fucking making wrong turns, (laughs) so we're having to do U-turns and... All this kind of stuff. Merry Christmas, asshole. You know, this the thing, the the conversations go on in the car. Well, now because, you know, kids are having kids and things are are getting, you know, bigger, the tradition has to change. Between Caleb being a spoiled brat and me being a grouchy old man, it's like, I'm trying to find a way to make this work to where everybody's happy. Yeah. So why can't you guys do another, not you guys keep that date, but then do your other thing with the family on another day? Well, and that's the problem, though, is because everyone is grown now and we all have jobs and, you know, one of them lives out in Tucson, which is two hours away and stuff like that. It's hard for all of us to be in the same place at the same time. I so get, it's one of those, yeah. I'm not against all of the family coming and all that kind of stuff, but then again, it just, when there's four cars and we all have to sit there and text each other where we're going next and stuff like that, it just... That's why I think it'd be fun if you rotate cars. Yeah. No, yeah, and that's, it, that's a whole, great idea. It's a great idea. It's, I think it'd be fun. It's it's just the change, the changes of, of the routine. This is where we talk about old traditions and having to let go of old traditions to replace them with new ones. You know, you let go of potato head and replace them with some fancy tree. You yeah. ended up shitting out on you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Remember where you came and, from. It was it. I mean, and, and don't get me wrong, but Mr. Potato Head's got a hole in him. I mean, so he's, he's never really fully erect. Well, who is, guys? But I, mean, <laughs> but I mean, but he's not, you know, so he's never really, he's got holes and stuff like that. And I, and it was like, I was like, and I had made the decision at, I always, I know it's so stupid, but at the end of every, when I'm putting everything away, I'm like, you're moving to the back, buddy. <laughs> you know, you know and, I, and I'm like, your, your time, you've, you've done great. You've done good for me. Thank you. But you, your time, you knew what you were getting. You knew it was happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, but again, like another thing, like when, when I was a kid, we always had a live tree that was always blue and silver when, uh, you know, back in New York. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. I, we, yeah. We move out here in the first year. No, first year we had live. And then after that, fake tree. 
and multicolored lights. Did okay? I gotta stop here. Did in the old trees because in my night and it was a big thing in the Midwest too. Well, it came from the Midwest. I was in Arizona, but all my family came from the. So it was like it was like a Christmas tree that was whatever, but it had the color lights that rotated around it. Remember those? It did. It had color lights, and it would be blue and yellow and red and whatever, and it would rotate around. It would light up the Christmas tree. No, no. Yeah, no, never I thought had that. they never had no. that. Yeah, we. No, okay, we, sorry, but yeah. No, growing up, the tree was always blue and silver, and then we move out here, and again, got to let go of an old tradition, and we had this fake tree for you know the remainder of my time at home. When Carla and I got together, I demanded you know, real tree, real tree. Going back to a real tree. I like them too. Yeah. And I, I, I prefer them. However. With his old age. <laughs> as, as I get older and fatter and less agile, putting lights on a tree sucks. <laughs> so, again, letting. They go. are convenient. The fa- And look, our, I, ours looks really good. We yeah, no, it, so. your tree looks beautiful. But that's what I mean. A pre-lit tree, snap together, snap together, click. And it really is snapped well, together. I mean, it really is. To that, like, no, f- real tree. We've always had a real tree as long as I've been alive, blah, 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 blah. But just with the prices of how expensive trees are getting nowadays, it's like, I can go get a fucking seven foot tree that's pre lit and all that for just as much as a fake tree yeah, or a real tree that we have to actually decorate. I don't even know how much real trees are going for now. Last year, I want to say that they were trying to charge like 120 or 130 My God, yeah, for a tree? We talked them seven, down to 80 something. Yeah. But it started out like 120. So it's like, we got to play. That's for a seven the... foot tree. Now, that's we... not even one that's like a, a big one in the middle of your life. If you have like vaulted ceilings or something like that. Yeah, you know, no, like we, the we, have an eight, we have an eight foot ceiling. So I go with a six and a half, seven foot tree. As long as I'm looking up to put the star on, that's that's how I gauge it. I'm six and a half feet tall. So. Yeah, but it's the whole fact that I can go to Michael's when they have a sale and get a you get seven it after foot Christmas. tree. Yeah, for you can get a $300 tree for, for 150 bucks. bucks. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah. So it's just, that's one of those I'm still not. But I will never. So the first year me and Holly were together, we go out and freaking look at, for a tree. And this girl, oh, my God, dude. It was like seven lots. We freaking, she's, I don't like any, I don't like it. And I'm like, by the I'm just like, get the fucking tree. What do you mean? You tree? So I, I was like, I am not ever going tree shop. So we always joke. We were in the car today. She goes, hey, how do you want to go tree shop? And I go, not on my fucking life with you. Because, man, no, it's, it's and just that's how it is oh, my, Shit is like, Mom's she couldn't pick anything, man. the same way. She doesn't even go anymore and yeah, it pisses me off because it's like now I have to sit there and fight with him about the what the tree looks like. And it's like, I don't care. My like, brother gets the sorriest trees ever. So they go up north and they physically cut it. And I think he tries to find the most pathetic. And I've been telling him, I go, do you, I, the last year I was like, do you purposely go to try to find the least attractive tree and you bring it up here? And Desiree's like, oh, I know. Will you tell him? One year he had it at his house. It was missing a whole back. And he goes, well, and he goes, well, I just put it up against the wall. And it was missing a whole back of a tree. I'm like, this has no back. It's, it's missing a back. Back. All right. Well, let me ask you: Is that is that a price thing, or is that just no? He it's Charlie Brown Christmas tree. No. Kind of thing, so or? he's. It's just a, a group of them. They they go get the, the the permit. And they make it a day. They go up and they cut down. It's just a tradition. It's a tradition they do. Oh, but I'm talking about picking the crappy tree. I don't know. I think, and Steve's like, it's just not. There's just not good trees. So you just gotta get. You, just gotta get what, you know, you just gotta get what you gotta get. And. The one with no back was the best. And she was like, oh, I just put it up against the wall. See? And I'm like, this is... And A, trees don't really have backs. They're round. Oh, no. This had no back. I mean, it basically had no back. It was freaking crazy. It was a two-dimensional. It was a two-dimensional tree. Exactly. So my brother's got him. So now it's almost like every year now, it's like we're going to walk in and just go look right at the tree and see how pathetic the tree is. One year, I think it was crying. I think the tree was looking at crying. It was that sad. It was that sad. We had a tree one year that had a hand that we... Yeah, but it, <laughs> it waved. See, that's the fun thing about real trees, though. You don't get these on fake. Do you want me to tell? Yeah, if okay. you want to do the backstory of All the right. hand. The backstory. There's a picture of my nephew passed away three years now. Were we three years? Something like that. God rest um, his soul. Yeah, passed away. But there's a picture of me and, me and Kayla. But in the background, Timmy's got his hand up waving. He's photobombing the, the picture. And I just love that picture because goofy Timmy's back there waving. We walk onto the tree lot. Here's this tree with his hand <laughs> sticking up. You had to get it then, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I look for him it. the last two years because, you know, that's that's Tim saying, hey, I'm here with you. And uh, 
I'll, yeah, I'll look I, for that every year. That I remember cool. that that day because I we both just started sobbing in the middle of this <laughs> Moon Valley tree lot. <laughs> So then, yeah, we took that one home, and we're like, we have to make the hand stick out like it was. Yep, yep. So there's a huge Christmas tree lot that right where we were today at the outlet malls, they were there. They were just letting people in. That's the one by the casino down there. So what free? And you know, to be honest with you, I haven't seen that many lots on the. We go to the same lot every year, and he's always there. It's always mm-hmm. like, always there, does yeah. he do pumpkins first too? A lot of ours no, out here it's... have pumpkins, fireworks, and trees. It, no, they do. It's... That's that's their <laughs> spot, and that's when they do them. So no, it's, it's Moon Valley Nurseries. So. Um... They're they're an established business out here. They do. They're uh, everywhere. They're in yeah. California too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, we we've gotten this archery from them for twenty something years. I think a couple of years we had to go to different lots because they either didn't have what we were looking for. Um, what new lights are you using this year? You said you're using new lights. Just uh, they're LED and they're app controlled, so you can change nice. them. Because like mm-hmm. one of the again letting go of the multicolor tree tradition. Um, we went to a, a purple and silver tree, trying to get Carla into the Christmas mood because she's not very Christmassy. Bah, so bah, bah. I just don't know how will you come to my house and you're not in, a you're drunk. B B <laughs> there's Christmas lights everywhere, so I, I just don't know how. So I, I changed. I went by new lights and everything. We went with a purple and silver tree, and it's nice. But it's nice. I mean, <laughs> no, I mean it no, was it's nice beautiful. The it's, first like couple of years, but then after it's just like the all thing right. is you like, are, that's the good thing about fake trees is you you can replace them every and. You know what I'm saying? But I guess with real trees, you just got to put different lights on. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that's the thing. Like, even with my mom's with the blue and silver and then ours with the purple and silver, if you're looking for that just nice, warm, cozy look, that's great. You're looking for a fun, festive Christmas. You want multicolored dancing lights, you know? That's with these new lights. Um, you I can agree. Have both. With new lights, you can have both. That's these kinda... new lights are crazy, too. and They're, like, really bright, but they have different effects to them. So you can make them just stay on. That's cool. You can make them, like, And you strobe. can change the color from purple to red to green to whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah it so. was really cool, too, because it's, Take like, a video. It's put not... it up on our, our oh, world. Yeah. world. There you go. It will. It'll we be. were supposed to get our tree today, that, the day that we're recording, but I ended up having to sleep in, so... <laughs> They've been really messing with my work schedule lately, so yeah, we're just yeah, working yeah. all hours of the day at this point, but it's fine. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> so, again, here we are letting go of the purple tree, but we don't have to now. But that wasn't it. a long tradition, right? Uh, purple tree was three years? years? Five. five years? No, okay. it's been a while. Yeah. But that's a, that's the beauty of these lights. We don't have to let go. We can just switch to whatever we want that year, uh, that night or that moment. So it'll... Yeah. No, and that'll be the fun Wait, part, Wait, what did Carl say? I didn't think she said anything. Oh, well, yeah, it's got the one flashy mode that's, like, really... <laughs> I am worried. So that's what I was worried about, the arches out there, the uh, epileptic kid coming through or something like that, and suing uh, us or well, something. Well, these like that. things are, like, bright, flashing. Yeah. That's awesome, like, man. Like, airplane beacon. So how much some of these lights set you back? How much are these lights? They were only $80. Oh, no, that's not... How many strands do you have to get, though? And is it 100 strand, or what is it? We got one strand, but it was seven... I don't remember. 700 lights? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that'll do your tree lights. easy. That'll do your tree easy. Yeah, because yeah. we were going we were going back and forth on that. Like, how many strands do we get? How much do we use? Blah, blah, blah. Right, right. Because, I mean, you never really count that shit out unless you're Mark and, like, materialistic <laughs> with all of your Christmas stuff. Well, they had, when I started looking at these a couple years ago, they had, like, a, a netting light where you didn't put a Those strand are cool. We have them out there. Yeah, you put that, you just wrap that around the tree. And oh, then, we we just do it on a bush. Okay, well, I'm saying you can get, you can wrap it around your tree and then have all sorts of different things. Now, if I want to do anything fancy or fun, I have to put the lights on a certain way because yeah, and that's part, the more fun of it. I mean, well, part of me thought instead of just wrapping it around the tree like I normally do is trying to do a diagonal thing. And uh, but now, I, do you guys turn on Christmas music when you do this? Yeah, yeah. We, oh, actually, cool. See, you're in the mood. See, the... you're not that much of a bah humbug. We, yeah. yeah, we put on oh, yeah, the Yule log. The Yule log, the the Yule log is hot. <laughs> Everybody, there's hardly anybody in Arizona that have fireplaces. So it is fun. It is cool lighting a fireplace on Christmas morning, though. It's that, pretty nice. Yeah, it's really, I used nice. to enjoy that. So never had the chance. No, and a lot of people don't. Didn't. I mean, I just happened one house I was in had a fireplace, and I was in it for a few years. So. Which house was that? Uh, next to Joey's, that had a fireplace. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were kids, yeah. yeah that had a fireplace. Wow. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that was odd. So <laughs> it was it was cool. It was fun. So I always want, I one year I really want to just rent out a cabin for like Christmas and have the whole family 
going. That would, that would be cool. I, I think it would be. I, like, it, I mean, you would, I, and I would say you should do it. And I get, and I know it's a lot of money, so I'm really spouting here. But it should be like a Hallmark movie. It should be fucking. You get an 11 bedroom fucking chateau, yeah. oh, no, and you no, know, no, and absolutely. fucking yeah, and decorate the stupid, you know, the place up, and uh, yeah, and get yeah. it for like a week. Yeah, no, because I wanted to do that too, because then it would co- coincide with like my birthday and stuff like that too. And that's what I was trying to look for when we went up there in a couple weeks, but they were all sold out. That's something you have to plan. And it'll run you a shit ton of money, but it, it yeah. would be, but it'd be like a Hallmark movie. It really would it'd be cool, you know? You know, all the Hallmark movies, they're all in the same town. Yeah. Perfect amount of snow, but the sun's yeah. out and freaking. That's how it is half of the time yeah, when I know, end up going to like Payson or Flagstaff or something. And, and I like, always like the name of, sorry, the name of the streets on those shows. Go to Mary Street, oh turn on God. Santa, and then go right yeah. on Enchanted. It's <laughs> I can't do the Christmas movies anymore because they're all too freaking stupid. They're, they're all supposed the to be. Profit. Fuck that. They are small town, rich executives that have real, de- and then the little farmer that hasn't left or whatever falls rich in love with her coming out. returns home to find her ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend, depending on. Exactly. Know, and she's got to find the Christmas spirit. She's trying to get back to New York and her blah, blah. Yeah, I, I don't like them either. Yeah, they're just way too much. They just, they're all the same, just a different shade of whatever. Well, did you watch the Lindsay Lohan one with us? Yes, I was the one that recommended it. Oh, okay. Because Cordover Street. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. So We love Cordover Street in this house. A, didn't we just see a commercial for another movie that looked like the same thing? Yeah, CBS has one that's literally damn near the same thing, so, except for maybe a plot line a little bit different but so poor Lindsay lohan's trying to get her, her career back Oof. oh jeez it's really loud um poor Lindsay lohan's trying to get her career back on track i would do her no so, i like Lindsay. Lohan. No. i do i really do That's Lindsay. if you're out there call me okay <laughs> i don't think she's listening oh, oh hey anyway i don't know where that was going okay. <laughs> no just saying she's trying to get her career back she's have to hook up with a guy from glee that's not movie. even how the storyline went. She was trying to like not be an heiress to her daddy's throne, surprisingly. And then she gets into the accident and forgets who she is. So Court Overstreet was Billy Cyrus his name, really ever. <laughs> I mean, let's like I saves her me. like the gentleman that he is. And then it's just a bunch of gobbly bullshit. Gobbly gook. That has been my word of the week. I gobbly like gobbly goop. goop. But yeah, no, it wasn't a terrible movie, but it was pretty terrible. No, I was referring to the actress Lindsay Lohan trying to get her career back. Oh, okay, I thought and you were talking so, about the no. So plot she, has, line of the she movie. tries to do this Christmas movie that I guess was okay as far as Christmas movies goes, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it had Court Over Street. So that was see, great. mom understands. <laughs> we love Court Over Street. In so Mark. House. I'm have listening. You, do you have any of your traditions you had to let go? No, I did not. I uh, We didn't have a lot growing up, so mine are uh, now just creating new ones. Like, we're adding to what we... I have a weird fetish if I throw parties or I, that I got to do better than the year before. I got People are expecting more, so that's why I, it's, it's a weird little fetish. And I do the same thing, you know, with my Christmas lights. And so, it like, this year I'm adding, you know... The community coming out, which we never did before, and it's really great because I've actually got a sidekick now, and my wife actually enjoys that and en- enjoys having the kids out and stuff like that. Where I never had a wife before that is, has enjoyed that. So that you know it- what have made that special? <laughs> a snow machine. Yeah, it would have been. And who knows? You never had five years. Johnny B's could have a great year or whatever, and I'll and I'll bring a snow machine out. So I don't know. A whole five years we have to wait for a snow machine. I ke- I add stuff, and again I. I'm very close to adding a reindeer. I think next year will be the will be the reindeer. I know she You're doesn't want it, get but get a reindeer versus yeah. a damn snow machine. So <laughs> I've I've talked to like a ton of people, and they're like, "Oh, a reindeer did put you over the edge." I mean, but one, did, they're one, getting wait one reindeer though. One reindeer you just get, from you, a petting you zoo. The, you get the whole team then. I'm no, impressed. because I would probably get the the little person that comes and dresses as an elf. I'd probably put her on the reindeer. It would be pictures. It'd be freaking awesome. It would be freaking awesome. Yeah. Though. I don't... Oh, Brittany would be all over it. She was the one that played Marilyn at the roast over at freaking at. Uh... Uh, all right, well, if she's into it, I guess that's her. I guess 
I guess that's a gig for for little people in Christmas time. Maybe. So I guess my tradition now is, an, and I kind of dig it because now I'm hearing my neighbors. They're like, "This is a, this is guy like tradition now," and I'm like, "Oh my god, that's that's totally cool." Yeah, even even uh, that day, one of your neighbors said that to me that they come here every year. So, and it, that's cool. And now the kids are getting older, and like I, one girl was walking, and she goes, "Oh no, they usually have candy canes." So she was telling the new kids, "She's like, they usually have candy canes." So I was like. We've gone through 70 freaking boxes of candy canes, for God's sakes. But that's my kind of my tradition. I mean, Kayla, what, I mean, what is yours? It's not the same thing as is your there dad. traditions so. that we've let go that you want to bring back? Is there things that you think we should let go? Mm, not that I can think of because, I mean, we don't necessarily do that many. You know, yeah, Christmas we don't have lights. a whole lot of... Is the one we nor- we watch Charlie Brown every year, but that's just a... You know, I haven't even seen it on. It's well, it's on not. Apple TV now, so you have to actually put some effort into watching it. Stinks. Yeah, we had to buy the actual DVD of all four of them. <laughs> Kids Apple. nowadays wouldn't even... They'd be like, what, what but, is this? Uh, mm-hmm. You know what? And, and I'm not a very religious person, but the Linus uh, soliloquy at the end, what Christmas is all about, is probably my favorite Christmas production thing. Absolutely. However, uh, again, not a very religious person, but when he's all lights, please, and away in the manger, blah blah blah. You know, I just, I don't know. I, for some reason, that is my favorite. Of, I I kind of agree. Right, right next to it, it, it used to be Al Bundy's "Twas the Night Before Christmas." It's <laughs> <laughs> freaking great. That is nice. But the, um, so but you didn't really finish that. You don't have any. Christmas morning. You guys had a big. You guys were always big Christmas Eve. You guys would. I don't know. Your mom would go to mass or whatever, but you guys would always go to church and then come back and open your gift. You guys would have Christmas Eve for like four in the morning. And then you guys would sleep in. That Christmas, is right. One tradition that I wish, and I mean, obviously, it's pro- it's never going to happen again. But I miss when we were all younger. Well, obviously. yeah, of course. But going over to Uncle Dave's, and it was the one time that everyone in the family stopped what they were doing, and we all got over there. All the kids were always together. Yeah. You know, we would do gifts as a family. You know, everyone was sharing gifts and stuff. Now, and that was thing, you know, I mean, half my half my brothers and sisters are gone now. But um, even before that and bringing. It's going to burn. Go, <laughs> going, uh, going out shopping mm-hmm. and, and the six of us going out shopping for the kids was was a riot in itself and I, I, do, like, I do miss that black friday isn't black friday anymore no from what we were 15 years ago i mean f- the big thing was oh they shouldn't make their uh people work on uh black friday because you're open at nine o'clock but people were there and if you didn't have people there it but that, that I'm, i miss that too i miss going out i remember one year trying to get kayla a uh digital camera i was out at four o'clock in the morning yeah in line waiting mm-hmm. to get this digital camera you know, so I but do, now it's just so easy that Black Friday just, so just easy, isn't yeah. it just isn't yeah. what it is. It's more. The, I look more forward to Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, Sunday yeah. Cyber, but then, yeah. Then all of a sudden, when when Amazon shows up, oh, Christmas shopping is done. Woo, that was rough. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I I knock out all my Christmas shopping on Amazon and I'm done. Like yeah. that's, that's it. It, it. It takes away the is fun. That really the fun. Where are you going? It's not necessarily. We're doing a show here. Would you just sit down and let the fire burn? <laughs> Mark has left the show like five times. Anyway, uh, no, I don't like going and actually having to try to find things with shopping anymore. Like Timmy and I used to do that, and I guess that's kind of one tradition I do. I mean, not necessarily a tradition, but one thing I do kind of miss is going out with him to go Christmas shopping. But even then, half of the time I was like, "Bro, we can get this shit online. Let's go home." Right. Well, so, I just, I just miss the walking through the mall and everyone no. doing their christmas thing and you know yeah no now i'm just so old as i can i where i can't find a fucking parking spot blah 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 you know and yeah. the lines are too long and there's no cashiers and blah 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 so yeah but again still miss the trip out to go shopping but i miss going to walmart with you on sunday nights you know so i'm just weird yeah i don't know i <laughs> I, I do it i mean holly's never had kids of her own i i have a nicholas you know he's grown so I don't have any grandkids or anything like that. And Holly doesn't have kids around. So I think we do this more, you know, when we adopt the families. We like, we know we love seeing the video and we love seeing the pictures of the family. And we love, I mean, she'll leave the door open. It's 50 degrees in the house, but she wants to hear the kids <laughs> out there with crackling and laughing and At everything. At least there's so. a reason for your door being open. <laughs> yeah. And I like you. You like keep it cold a little bit, don't you? <laughs> Jesus. Those penguins walking around. <laughs> 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 so yeah but that's i think uh so i think new traditions are fun and i think they're 
I think you can add new twists to old things. And I think uh, you're missing out, I think, guys. on. I understand your point of view. You want to make it as your family thing, but I don't know. No, I, I, like I said, I, the, the six of us jammed into that truck. Was that was that was a lot? Most of the fun. I don't. I don't know. Most the Christmas. We ended up going to the same Christmas displays every year. You know, it was just, well, yeah. But don't you look in the map now? Yeah, and no, we do look at the map every year. Yeah, but and it's, it's the still, same ones. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Unless someone dies or something like that. Do you remember when we were kids? There was one up at Forty Third Avenue in Paradise, just uh-huh. south of Bell. That whole street. Yeah. Yeah, that was a huge one. That guy died. Um, twenty Krista, Christmas and um, Constock right over has lost its luster. I mean, it, it's still drawing big crowds, but it's it's lost its luster since they won the Christmas light fight. So, well, but, now all of them too. Like, there's these big elaborate, you know, companies are coming in and putting on all these, yeah, you know, and that's like just not farms and the drive throughs and all that. Kind I do want to walk to. There's one right over here, there's, right there's on Power behind, Road. There's one behind you too, according to the map. That I just want to, you know, that I I'll walk through or something. I mean, it'll be. Oh, yeah, that's when, we're, when we're done recording, let's hop in the truck and try to find that one that's over here behind us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go look at Christmas lights, Mark. Yeah, see, you'll yeah. take me on. What if I wanted to come on your family tradition? Well, and I, uh, you had mentioned that you did want to come. So it's like, how are we going to fit everyone in? It's just, should we make separate days? And Yeah, that would have to be a separate, I agree. Yeah. But Which, it, and it, I, I have no problem with that. Like, my biggest thing with the one night that we do it is that, like we said, we're splitting up into multiple cars. Everyone's getting lost. We have to stop here to go to the bathroom. We have to do this. We have to do that. So the three, four hours that we have to look at lights end up turning into, like, one because so-and-so's lost or so-and-so has to take a shit and blah, 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 blah. Right. So. <laughs> she, I, I, I know. I get it. But, but I, that's the thing. I guess things have to but evolve. But they, can you imagine? Okay, so what's the youngest of the kids that are going to go? Well, now what? Tiny Tim's what, two? Yeah, the baby. But okay, I mean, let's, the, t- the two-year-old won't know, but I, let's say go the next kid's up. I would say 12, right? And they're still into it? No, he's not. Okay, I was going to say, I wouldn't, <laughs> I, I'd be surprised why the 12-year-old's going. He we probably was forced him to, along. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's probably, but he'll remember that. I, I mean, think he likes doing it, and he likes having that tradition as well. I would think that that's a tradition for him. Um, You can just tell that he's a, he's a boy, he's a. Yeah, almost I a mean, teenager. I don't want to. His be... attention span is barely there, you know. So, I mean, we've made up games. I've in the last few years have gone in and made like bingo cards. Oh, that that does make it fun. That and so fun. I'll like think of ideas and stuff like that, and then I'll make up those bingo cards that we can just play in the car. So then we go look at different houses, That's and cool. it's like, yeah, oh, does see? this have a Grinch or whatever? So that always adds a little spice. And into I bet it. you, if he didn't go, he'd miss it. So I mean, this is yeah, what you got. I, I think he's. So now like with others. these ones you're trying, I, 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 it's about the kids, man. If the, if your friends want to bring their kids, that's how it should, I understand. That. I understand it's about the kids, but that's still again where we brought up the letting go of old traditions and and bringing in new ones and how you know I'm, I'm just wondering how other people you know because I deal think because you, you're going to be the family or that's going to say oh, this is my 19th year or somebody in the back will be no, a, we do that it's all my the time. first year or whatever hey you know hey. <laughs> we do that all the time there's a house over what like you got to buy a bus and do a and Jim DeVoy reality tour Beardly? on Christmas um, oh the Star Wars one mm-hmm. um oh yeah 20th Street in like Deer Valley yeah, and he goes all out, and not all out, but he has one of those like laser show things or whatever, and it shows different scenes. Choreographed music and stuff. That's cool. And yeah, see, really I cool can't guy. figure that. My brother said he could help, but he doesn't want to. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like I'll be in bed if you need me. I'll be in bed. Wake those me are up, cool yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, Steve's is great. If you drive by Steve, Steve's is fantastic. By the way, music choreographed by uh, Johnny B's Entertainment. So, but, <laughs> but, uh, but no, his is all set to music, and the kids love it. The, his neighborhood loves it. His neighbors don't. I mean, but because uh, <laughs> it's it's like real music and not so. It's like Katy Perry's Firework is on there. Desiree's like, if I gotta hear that fucking song one more time, <laughs> she's like, I, I hate it when it comes on anytime on the radio or whatever Desiree says. So, but but and that's another thing, like. So obviously, all your neighbors like your elaborate. Display. I think I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they like. How do some people deal with some of these? I mean, the traffic that some of them cause. Well, the one on Comstock has to actually uh, 
have police presence. Comstock. We're... It's right down. It's right on Elliott and Higley. So it's called Christmas on Comstock. Uh-huh. And it's a whole block. They do a we, whole block. We went through one in Scottsdale that was the whole block. And you you had to enter off this street and follow it all the way yeah. around. And you could not exit until you got to their exit. It's just the way they did. But it was it a was beautiful display. Not like... And that's the thing. I've been I've been driving around a lot the last couple of weeks. I'm not seeing a lot of big elaborate displays that I used to see. My my stupid dream is all you know those arches that were out of this year. I want to buy them for each one of the neighbors, and they all it's the whole Kohler sack. <laughs> I would. It's stupid. How cool would that be if you're taking a walk and you're walking through those arches all the way through your Kohler sack? I think that'd be that would be cool. That'd be awesome. Yeah, if you're trying to ride, that's true. If you're stoned on a bike, you're you're a dipshit. That's There's not gonna a... work. If you're drunk, you know, when you're driving home drunk, you're not even, I'm gonna hit that goddamn arch. That fucking arch. <laughs> There's another neighborhood over in, on this side of town that I, when I'm at work, I'll drive through it and just, cause they, it's the whole neighborhood, if not like three, four blocks, all of them go all out. You need to write this down, Jim. People need to get on our, if, they're, if you're listening, get on and do like you're saying, hey, there's cool houses here or whatever. We can make our own Warp World freaking yeah, thing. I mean, just both of you have access to the Facebook page. I don't need to write anything down. <laughs> we you have a Facebook on. page? <laughs> What's yeah. Facebook? Anyway, you can go on the Facebook sorry, page. I was trying to, I was trying to add to your story. Sorry, I interrupted. I'm sorry. No, it's a really, just a really cool neighborhood that the whole street goes out. They do the street lights. They take the um, Christmas lights up and down the street, all throughout the the Christmas lights. Yeah, I wish, or, I wish uh, I knew my neighbors. We have rentals, so there's some people that are rent there in there a year or two. We don't really, and they're really cool now. The, the couple in the corner, they're starting to put more and more lights out. Their kids are getting long, uh, bigger, and you know, so they're putting more and more lights out. And her, <laughs> our, our 90 year old family that lives next door is now, God, you know, you do a little weed, they get all upset. But uh, no, it smells like someone took a shit. It, it's good weed. Holy no, it's crap. Good. Where's Dr. Weed when you need him? Oh, but anyway, good. can I get back to the little str- look at that? Look at that sorry strand. Don't even put that Leave up. them alone. Come on, look at the, you know, It's not they even true. This is why no, I don't they do didn't. The, the mom came, or the sister came over. <laughs> they bought one strand of that. Like, eh, okay. This is why I don't do lights, because I'm just going to. Oh, you're crap. just lazy. I, I, though, you could make your yard look pretty. I know it's small in the front, but you can make your yard look cool, man. How about it? I am very judgmental when it comes to Christmas lights, though. So what are you going to yeah. rank me? I want to be honest. Out of all the lights of my... On an A to Z. To, I would have to or look at it again. Let no, look you've at it seen it now. I'll... You've helped with it. I Well, you changed it now, so now I have to see what's happened. You better and... not judge me on that, because I think it looks pretty good with Miss Santa there. I really no, do. My biggest she's thing... more of a folk people seer. She's creepy. No, oh, she's <laughs> she kind of Anyway, creepy. my biggest thing is that, and I mean, bless your heart if you do this, whatever, but when you have like a multicolored strand and then all of a sudden it's just like a warm yellow and they're just not meshing together or you've just look you look at some houses and you're like why who made that creative decision there my <laughs> yeah it is i i will I, I have or sometimes that, right? you've why? just run out of lights and you you're like if i don't have 22 yeah. dollars to go buy another i like the lights. ones that have the one strand of light coming down to the grinch and, and it's the, like... oh we have one right around the <laughs> yeah, corner we that's... have a guy right around the corner I that does that. that yeah it's pretty cool there the... used to but be we... a house over on our side of town that would go all out because i think they were a corner lot all out they're the whole palm tree was decorated, all this shit everywhere, and then the house next to him just wrote ditto in Christmas yeah, lights that's... with an arrow <laughs> pointing. That's the ones I like. That was the, probably the best Christmas light we've that seen. That is kind of cool. That we is. went to one over here on the, on the east side of town that had a petting zoo and- Oh, I remember that one. Um, they were serving hot chocolate and and donuts we're doing that next shit. Friday. We're doing hot chocolate. No, no, we're, we're doing hot no. chocolate too. So you don't have a. Do I need zoo. to get a zoo? Yeah. Uh, honey, Where's we're getting a petting zoo? zoo next week. We're one reindeer. This had like a whole zoo. <laughs> Dear Lord, it no, like... but it was it was quite the. Uh, I like the ones that you get out and walk through. I I, I do. Those are uh, yeah. Those are cool. There's one tiny little house down in Glendale that you walk through his whole house and it was just jam packed with like, what do you do with this stuff when it's not Christmas? Holy crap. Because it was a lot of stuff. There's a really cool one. I mean, I know we're just like shooting the shit. Yeah, we're we just will... babbling now and our show's getting kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> no, we will wrap it up soon eventually. And we'll try to. It's post our Christmas some of the special, damn it. Christmas light ones or whatever. But there's one out in the West Valley as well that does a Nightmare Before Christmas. And that's their whole theme. And they play the movie like all night long. 
And oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's like glow in the dark and all that. That is a really cool house. They've gotten a lot of traction from that. My so mom asked just in case anyone didn't hear my favorite one as a kid um there was it's the same house as always as there was this guy who had a very nice house and he would decorate the front yard all up then you would walk through and his whole house was decorated he had pictures of every single year that he did it he changed the theme up every time that's cool he would make his own like wooden cu- cutouts that you could buy at the end of the oh, season the pool, was the pool he re- in the back 20, was he re- 21st and greenway yep was he retired i mean how do you have time to do all this that's the i think and he was retired at some point I, I but he had been doing it for 30 years yeah i mean we started going in what like 2006 if not a little bit before that but he had pictures from like the 1990s yeah well, no we've been going since every year since you were born you know oh, yeah. if anybody's listening from any other state or city i'd like you to post your house up if you decorate it and put it on so that we can see cool. it that if cool. so if you're no matter where you're at no matter where you're listening if you do your house up even i don't even care if it's just a blow up whatever put it freaking uh, on it because i'd love love to see it and see what some uh christmas people like yeah. decorating their house with so put it on our facebook page it'd be kind of like cool Blow-ups, yes, <laughs> blow-ups are my favorite. That, so. b- back to the house I was talking about. Like, yeah, you would go into the backyard, and he had a pool, and then, like, Santa was diving off the diving board, and you could throw, like, money in the pool, like, coins, like, as a wishing thing, and then you would just wrap around into the front yard, and you were right back into it. Yeah, that was We great have house. so many pictures from that house. Does he still do it, or? No, he no. he passed away a long time ago, uh, right? See, and it's not like it's, Nicholas ain't taking this tradition on. My son, will not, I mean, he's not going to. He was never really big into helping or whatever. He loved it, and he loved the way it looked, but Nicholas was well, never... That's what I, I've seen people start. In like, October. In October. You started three days before the party. Yeah. How do you do it all so quickly? It helps with having friends, yeah. and it helps with that kind of now knowing this is going to go here, this goes here, this goes here. and uh, But those arches this year, Aaron's corner over there, because he, those would if I didn't have his help, it would have been... a half a day thing to get those arches in right. the ground and get them all set and you know to where they needed to go it and that was as they were already pre-lit because i'd made them and we just could not dig the hole because the ground was so hard we right. didn't freaking realize how hard the ground was Did you use and, a drill or would you no aaron just used a thing a hammer oh, <laughs> wow. pre-dig the hole a little bit and then stick them in there and make sure they were secure and they've made it through a, already one storm we got we'll see through monday hopefully yeah big storm coming hopefully we'll they make it off <laughs> so don't come see our yard uh monday all right well we've kind of dragged on about the christmas traditions and stuff like that if you have a christmas tradition uh you know let us know put it on our facebook page and let us know your Christmas traditions. So that turn you on let we're, go. we're close. Turn on a Santa over there if we're fake. We're, we're, we're I'll get to it. We'll These get to them. Sad, them. sad Santa. That is it. No, they, <laughs> like, it's a Barry White Santa. If you're like, you're with your girl, you're like, yeah, honey, no. listen right. to this. Well, with the holidays Lights and birthdays and things low. like that, this will be our last show of the year. I know we've been a month without having a show, and we're probably going to be another month, or probably be after the first year before we come back, but. To all of you that have uh, kept us going and uh, our loyal listeners, all three of you, I appreciate it. That was one fun thing of the Christmas party was everyone knew who I was. Yeah. And I freaked out every time because I was, was like, great. why? How do you know me? And then they're yeah. like, oh, I listen to the podcast. So yeah, thanks awesome. to my well, fans. <laughs> we appreciate the fans. To um, all a warped world and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry everybody. Christmas. <laughs>